If God created the universe in six days, it certainly did not take 40 days for God to hand Moses two stone tablets. So what was Moses doing up there all that time? He was internalizing a vast body of instruction to transmit to his people. So once the smoke and sounds of Sinai subsided, Moses began to teach, and the Jews were most surprised. They'd expected Moses to begin with a detailed series of highly spiritual rituals or meditations, matters that Moses had to go up to heaven to receive. Instead, Moses first launched into topics far closer to earth than to heaven. He rolled out a unique civil system with requirements unlike any other. Here are a handful of surprising examples. The finder of a lost item must proactively collect or secure the item and then preserve it while actively seeking its rightful owner. Beyond banning defamation, the Torah even forbids gossip among friends. It requires an individual not only to rescue those being harmed, but to act preemptively. It makes it illegal to look the other way when a fellow traveler is hopelessly stuck along the roadside. It mandates respect for the elderly. It criminalizes the malicious delivery of bad advice. It illegalizes the verbal abuse of individuals whose disabilities prevent them from recognizing the abuse. But surely, the Jews challenged Moses. God prefers spiritual worship instead of looking out for stranded traitors and fallen bracelets. Ah, replied Moses. I will soon instruct you in Judaism's rituals and festivals, but you must know that these civil laws are also spiritual. You see, God's goal is not for you to transcend the earth, but to change it and make it more heavenly. You will notice that the Torah's legislation is more than a guide to protecting rights and maintaining social order. No. These laws include mechanisms for molding a righteous civilization. From now on, each of you is legally obligated to do the right thing for those around you and to proactively extend yourself in the pursuit of good and righteous conduct. With that, Moses and the Jews launched into a spirited study of Jewish civil practice and its aspirations of a righteous society, a study that flourishes until today.